Nestled in the forest just outside of Johnstown, Pennsylvania, you'll find Snavely Cemetery. At first glance, some will find it serene and peaceful, but others who take a stranger path will find the horrible secret of Becky's grave. Poor Rebecca Kring just wanted to help her family, her community, so when a local Native American whose name has been lost to history taught her the medicinal values of the herbs growing up in the little town of Elton, Pennsylvania, Becky thought it was a godsend. Becky learned the value of boiling willow bark to make aspirin, crushed elderberries to relieve a fever, and many other herbal remedies that we take for granted in our modern world. The fanatically religious members of her community didn't see it the same way. Where we see folk remedies for ailments, they saw witchcraft, and Becky was hung by the neck until she was dead, her body buried unceremoniously in the cemetery. Locals will tell you that the dead do not rest well in Snavely Cemetery. Voices can be heard at night, whispering from the woods. The spirit of a World War II vet can be seen rising from his grave on the night of a full moon when a westward wind blows. But there's something a little bit more terrifying. So, this word of warning. If you visit Becky's grave, take nothing with you home. Not a leaf, not a flower, and not one twig. Several people who have taken souvenirs from Snavely Cemetery claim to have received phone calls late at night from a woman calling herself Becky demanding that the object be returned to her grave. Why would she turn? It's so fuzzy. 